guys, D War what's up guys? D Warhammer guys seven twenty seventeen here once again for another video. And in this video I will be reviewing another Warhammer thing. Uh it'll be all the cases. So if I go down here and um just quickly go into full screen and we have a look, we will see cases. So First, we will have a look at the a uh, the Citadel Ard case. So this is the f probably bulletproof case. So it's very good. It can hold quite a lot of figures. I'm assuming it has locks. Um, so there are three layers in this, and there, so there's six sponge uh, foams and you can easily sort all your things out so the bottom layer can be used for tanks top layers can be used for troop true troop transport small troop transport like rhinos so yeah like in the image here they've used rhinos because rhinos are much smaller than land raiders so yep so that's the um i don't know how to pronounce that but it's a very good case so it's got quite a few layers um Next up, we'll have a look at the Crusade case. I think this is a slightly bit smaller, more wider, and it just... It's pretty similar to the other one before, but um, less secure, I think, probably. Um, let's have a look at this one. So, this is the Citadel Battle Figure case. So, I... Uh, this is the one I will be getting, and it only comes with one side, which is perfectly reasonable. Uh, but it comes with a bottom layer that I can put all my tanks in. Now, if we go here, this is the small skirmish case, but apparently it was built for Space Marines. We've got yeah, as you can see here, Space there's Space Marines in it, but it's rather small, so I won't be able to carry much stuff in it, and. Um, let's have a look around, let's see, um, well because I play Blood Angels, I'll review one of their things here, I'm not sure what to review though, so I recommended for me however is the Tactical Squad, so, um, a super, well I don't know whether that's super heavy or not, but their heavy weapon is good. It's a flamer and a normal tactical squad for normal space marines. It's the general rocket launcher, which is a bit lame eventually. Like I've got two, I bought two tax squads. At this point, I never knew that you were only allowed two heavy weapons in one tax squad. So I arm all my guy with all the heavy weapons, and then I realised that I'm not allowed to use all of them like that. So let's have a look here. So that's Heavy Weapon 1, and that's Leader 1, and that's Heavy Weapon 2, and that's Leader 2, and then that's the other choice of Heavy Weapons, and so there's quite you have quite a few options, they don't limit your options, which is very good, so, and also this is just generally good if you're collecting, I'm deciding between Primark, the Primark, or two tax squads, if we have a look here, let's have a look at the Devastator Squad, Terminator Blood Angels. Now, these are good, but I have one very strong disagreement in limitations with them. And that's this the, the thing here, yeah? Is the, there's no point, yeah, because for £8 cheaper, I could get the same thing. Just without all the Blood Angels things. So I think they didn't need to add the extra £8 just for the. Um, to make it more Blood Angelsy. Of course, though, these people look so cool, like this guy here. He. he, he you, won't, you don't want to get into a fist fight with him at all because he will just beat you up, claws or no claws. And he actually looks quite. Um, what's the word? Quite. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Terrifying, let's just go with that for now. Um, and then, 
the and then this I think there's um the shields are quite good. They all look really detailed. And this here I've noticed actually even has the cup on it. I didn't realize that it was they were going into that blood entrance that much. But um so this is quite cool. The banner and the there's a I think is I don't know if that's a transfer. I know this is a transfer. And I think some of them like this wing here is just sticking out. So yeah, they don't once again don't limit your options. Now if I have a look at I don't know. If I have a look, yeah, all this is mostly the recent stuff. So let's just go into this. Say for instance. This is very good. You get three dreadnoughts. Who who couldn't you could like you could do one like that, one like that, and one in this style. So that is a really, you get a lot of variety in that. I personally don't like this style. He's, uh, he's okay, but he doesn't look great. Yeah, if I were to get it, I would definitely build the librarian one because I need a librarian. Uh, but once again, they do not limit your options. You can definitely choose between them instead of just being like, hmm, I have to do this one because that's what it says on the front. You could do whatever you want, or you could have like one uh, librarian or something, then two of the same ones are with the same things, just to make it like a leader and his guards. Just let's go with that. Speaking of guards, Sanger and guards, I think, here they're so cool. I was going to get those instead of bought Terminators, though. So this is, uh, I don't know how many come in this because there is some in the background there. I don't know whether they're involved. But you also get this really cool leader guy. I don't know whether it's a guy or a girl, firstly. Excuse that for that. But, um, and secondly, why do they have wings? Is what I never want. I, I mean, like, it does make sense, Blood Angels, but I... It, it, Mm, at least they. I mean, like if I if I if I were to buy them, the this bit here I would paint red because that would just make lots of sense. Because it's blood angels, and why would why would you have why beautiful angel wings if you're just gonna and if you're just gonna go around with uh guns, swords, and yeah. But they do look generally very cool. They got the, they got three engines on the jetpack. Makes, hundred percent sense. And then I think you get um, like six of those. I don't know. Now nope, you go up here. This is the best one. It is basically. It's fifteen terminators, which I I I I would be I would get that. But you also go with. Uh, there's a lot more close. There's ten close combat terminators. And there's five of the long-range Terminators, which I don't think is balanced enough. But either way, one would be you would definitely have more of, more of one than another. Maybe if they made it for a hundred pounds, let's go with. Maybe you could have twenty miniatures. You could have ten of these and ten of these, and that would make a bit a bit more sense. Uh, Death Company. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of Death Company. But, um, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's worth £80. Uh, actually, no, it is worth £80, sorry. Don't know what I was saying there. I just don't know whether I'd buy it or not. Because, uh, cause like I said, I'm not a big fan of Death Company. It does come with a Dreadnought, which is pretty good. You got, yeah, uh, jump, jetpack infantry. Jump pack infantry, you know, your flying guys. And then you got this guy. One leader, dreadnought, and you get tax squad. Um, it's okay. It's not the worst, but it's not the best either. Definitely go with something different. The leader, he, that the that is what I'll go with. Yeah, not because bright wings wouldn't really suit that, and I think that's very good painting. So yeah, whoever painted that, good job. Uh, congratulations. And then yeah, next up, it's a massive one. Where you get a lot of troops. Right here. One tax squad. So you'll get 
in 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 36 troops, which is good. You get your flying. Like, this is great if you're starting off and you want to become Blood Angels. I mean, like, it's a bit pricey, but it's very good for its money. Uh, it's good because you got your heavy assault troops, like, to st stand at the back and destroy everything. Then you got your guys who just go up front like, yeah, warriors, champions. And then you have your leaders with uh, a lot of defense. Yeah, that that that's uh, that that there is a, a very um, convincing defense, and you get two tax squads, which is even gooder. Yeah. And then, oh, uh, I think this is a new one. I don't know whether that started with, that came out with all these, um, the other ones I reviewed. But this one, it's, this is a specific Blood Angels tank. It's because it, the Bar Predator is, um, you can't get it in a different, you can get it in Space Marines. Well, you, you can get the Predator, but not the Bar Predator. It has a special weapon for the front. You can arm it with a flame out or uh Well, I don't know because I haven't looked at it much, but I'm not really into small tanks. It's either, it's either no tanks or the hand raiders or vindicators. So yeah, the one I definitely go with vindicators. Then you got this one, actually. I don't understand this one very well. You get a rhino and a tactical squad. So you're getting the rhino for £12.50. Then for no, you're getting the runner for ten pounds. Sorry, and then it's okay. It's good, but I wouldn't say it's the best. That, like once again though, Games Workshop, whoever painted this in Games Workshop knows how to paint, because these are very good. So yeah, I don't know. You know, be tough. It's tough. You know, I don't really. I mean, like, and then there's the other armies for, so, like, Grey Knights and Astro Militariums, I would say don't go for them, because if I show you the Grey Knights tactical squad, yep, it's £37, basically. It's not basically £37, it's £37. It's, so it's not necessarily the best army to start off with, but it's a good army, I think, because they're all psychers and they all get, um... So it's a de definite psychic phase, and is that, sorry, is that an orc head? Oh, what's that poor orc deserve? Is that, or is that cyclops even? Who knows? But I think the best value for your money is either that, for green lights, or... Oh man, they really ruined that. I thought I, I, thought I could, I thought I could say another one. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. The paladins. Yep, they look, they are so cool. Paladins. Because I am unfortunately adding Grey Knights to my army because I'm getting the Primarch. So it could be a problem. But then I, will, I would have added Astra Militariums. It, but, so for instance, the Death, the, the, the Trivium Primarch thingy Majigger. Yeah, it came with a uh, Grey Knight leader and an uh, Astro Militarium leader. Then it would have been definitely half me to decide. But it, instead, it comes with a Dark Angel leader and uh, a uh, Terminator leader, whichever one. So, yeah, and then. Uh, what's the other one that's really good? How, wait. Uh, what's the other one that's good? Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, so let's have a look at Dark Angels, just quickly, just to see what Dark Angels are like. So, that's good. That's good. That's definitely, actually, this is actually very cool, but it is ooh, also a bit pricey. Oh, God. It just has a lot more parts and is so much cooler. You get three 
weapons instead of your average one that you usually get with the uh, land speeder, which I definitely think is much better. But and it just generally looks more cooler. You got three different choices of terminators. I would definitely go for this one. Even though I don't play Dark Angels, I would definitely go for this one because you have either so you have a leader with a bolt gun and a close combat weapon. You got this guy with a long range weapon. And you got the three other guys, the two other guys with close combat weapons, and this guy with a gun. So it is. Uh, I don't know whether that's intentional or that's just how they built it, but. Yeah, and then these guys are just generally cool. Like most of the Dark Angel stuff is cool. Got hoods, you know. They know what they're doing half the time. If they don't know what they're doing, they do probably. But yep. Yeah. And then if we have a look here, this is a specific one to the army, I think. Cause I don't think there is a Space Marine version of this. And if there is. Um, I don't know what to say, I guess, but yeah. You got the, um, the bikers. You got the Devastator Squad, which is absolutely no different to every other Devastator Squad they've made. So, yep. Yeah. Anyway, I think this video has carried out for too long, guys. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you learned some army tips that I sh So, yeah. This was my. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel, I guess. Uh, you've been doing so much, even though I just started two hours ago. So yeah, thank you for uh, helping me so much already, and uh, I hope you, you it was useful. Okay, and I'll see you guys in the next video.